Uh, hey, Mr. Wilkins, you wanted to see me? Yeah, Chris, come on in here. You're probably wondering why I called you down here, but there's been some concern about your job performance as one of our recruiters. How so? Well, for starters, uh, you've hired fewer employees than any of the other recruiters we have here. And uh, none of the people you've hired have actually made it beyond 90 days. Wow, this is, uh, this is all news to me. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to buckle down and try a little harder. Thanks, so. No, no, no. It's not that simple. Now, I'm the one that hired you. I really want to see you succeed. There have been a, a large number of complaints. So what would you say your best feature is? Well, I'm an excellent multitasker who thrives in a fast pace. No, no, no. I mean, like, physically, what is your best feature? Because, I mean, I was going to say boobs, but I haven't really seen the backyard yet, so. Here's one about uh, standoffish behavior. <laughs> so, are you married? Yeah, happily for 10 years. <laughs> That's great. What's your name? It's Cheryl. Son of a bitch. My wife's name is Cheryl. You trying to mow my lawn? Here's another one. I, you know, telling an off-color joke in the office. So anyway, the farmer walks in and he's holding this chicken under his arm. And he walks up to his wife and he says, Hey, I just wanted to show you this pig I've been f <laughs> And the wife says, That ain't no pig, you damn son bitch. And he says, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the chicken. Uh, would you like to see my resume, maybe? <laughs> no. Uh, the list just goes on and on. Well, a lot of that was taken out of context. So. No, no, there's more. Yeah, two boys. Would you like to see a picture? <laughs> oh, slow down there, bro, Cephas. We ain't trying to turn this into a sausage party. There's a lack of preparation. So as you can see, I believe I'd be a great asset to your firm. Hang on. What are you applying for? There's even, there's even a report of flagellants. You know, I don't pretend to have the most experience, but, you know, I will do the best for the... Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's really embarrassing for you. Me? I'm not... The... Dude, something's wrong with you. Well, I mean, I don't want to say anything, but that kid was, uh, that kid was very gassy. I, uh, don't know what company protocol is on that, but, you know, uh, that was my bad. I'll take the hit on it. No, from, from here, it just starts getting more bizarre. This whole tab is applicants that you just flat out turned away. I don't know how to break this to you, but we don't hire gypsies. We don't hire dirty werewolves. We don't hire hobos, snowmen, gorillas, crossing guards. I hate to ruin your day, but we don't hire wizards. Dude, what the f*** are you talking about? Well, I mean, I guess I'm just going to have to read the employee handbook. No, it's not that simple. The most disturbing are the ones that relate to your consumption of alcohol while at work. Now that is just not true. Tell me how your previous experience in a corporate setting better prepares you to deal with our clients and stockholders. You really want to know? <laughs> no, man, I'm just f***ing with you. Oh, I had too many boiler makers at lunch. Are you high? <sighs> so hot. Why is it so hot in here? Uh, leave me alone, stomach. Leave me alone. Gosh, I feel so much better since I puked. How you doing? Filthy. I just want to kiss you. Shut up. Can, I, can I please kiss you? You are filthy. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Why are you getting so mad? I'm totally, I'm so kidding. Do you like my car? Needless to say, there's only so much that the company can put up with. Uh, and unless you've got something else to say, uh, today is just going to have to be your last day here. Hey. Where'd he get that? That's right. It turned out that Chris was suffering from a very serious medical condition known as dumb as hell. Mr. Wilkins took him to a local hospital for treatment, hoping for the best. Unfortunately, Chris drank a bottle of rubbing alcohol and wandered off into the night. Legend has it that if you listen carefully, you can still hear him wandering the halls.